AutoCAD has the ability to create 3D objects. Um, one of the, the main way of creating 3D objects is to draw a 2D profile and then you know, give it a, a height in your Z value. Um, with AutoCAD, you've also got something called primitives. Today we're going to look at the primitives both in solid and in meshes. So the primitives that you can create for, for solids, box, cylinder, sphere. And to create any of these, select box, select the size of the box, and then if I just hold down shift middle mouse button, you'll see there I can now take it into my 3D value. You want to just take a look at the different way of looking at it. So let's go to a shaded view, and there you can see your 3D box. I'm just going to take it back to my 2D, or actually not 2D wireframe, but I'm going to do 3D wireframe. Oh, just wireframe. Same thing for a cylinder. Select the center of the cylinder, select the radius of the cylinder, and then how tall you want your cylinder to be. For a sphere, select the center of the sphere, and then it'll grow out. You select the radius of that sphere over there. You may take a little bit better, shaded, and then you can see those over there. As you can see, when I did create it, the center of the sphere actually lies on my zero, zero, and for this over here, the bottom of the cylinder lies on my zero, zero, or my x, y plane. Uh, now, taking a look at your meshes, so with the mesh, you've got uh, these different types of, of primitives you can create. So mesh a box, a cone, a cylinder, a pyramid, a sphere, a wedge, and a torus. Now, to control how these are created, um, we've got your styles or your primitive options over here. By selecting the primitive options, you'll see there that I'm able to change the length, width, and height of the tessellation divisions in your box. So if I take a look at this, so if it's three, let's make it three, four, and five, just to see the difference. Click on OK, and I'm going to go and create this. So you select, uh, see this, but I've just, uh, I've just put my options in, and now I'm actually going to go back to my mesh box over here, and then I'm able to create it. So select that, bring it up. Okay, to see the tessellations a little more, more clearly, I'm going to go put into my wireframe. So you saw that we had three, four, and five. So on the X, okay, take a look at the bottom here, your X axis, you've got one, two, three divisions. On the Y axis, you've got one, two, three, four divisions. And on your uh, Z axis, you've got the one, two, three, four, five divisions. Okay, so... You know, with this, if you've ever done uh, mesh modeling, uh, you can now go and can extrude faces. So you can select that, right click enter, and then you're able to extrude that face over there. So you can go and modify this through each uh, sort of individual face that you've, you've got over there. Um, so as I said, you know, you've got your cone, cylinder, pyramid. So for instance, a mesh wedge, select that and then select your first corner, your second corner, and then you bring up your wedge over there. Okay. And you'll see how the different tessellations act, and then you can go and start um, modifying this to what you want it to be. So that's just a quick guide on how to create primitives. You'll see there under your polysolid, you've also got your polysolid uh, wedge, cone, pyramid, and torus. Um, and just, you know, for polysolid, uh, polysolid is actually about making um, you know sort of walls. So if you want to make a wall or something like for a house, uh, just get your you know heights and your width as well. So for instance, the heights maybe make it two thousand, uh, the width make it one fifty, and then you can start drawing. Probably an even easier way to create your polysolid, so I just pressed escape there before I, I selected that, is to create a polyline and then use the polyline as an object to create your, your, your wall in essence. Okay, close. If I select it, you'll notice it's a polyline. So I've got a polysolid. Just make sure that the height is correct, so it is 2000. And the width is correct, it's 150. And then select object, select the polysolid or the polyline you've created, and there you have it. Okay. So 
Um, and I know that you've got a lot of primitives in a lot of different 3D uh, applications, and AutoCAD is one of them. Thank you very much for watching.